Sinclair spent almost 40 years pounding pavement as a reporter for WGN TV. She covered politics, the weather, and a lot of community issues. Yeah, but it's her social justice reporting and concern for kids that distinguished her work. As we continue our celebration of 75 years at WGN TV, Muriel talks about her most impactful moments here. Opening statements move into a third day tomorrow with three more attorneys set to go. In a school that has very little, this month's honoree gives a lot. Muriel Clare, WGN News at the Board of Education building. Muriel Clare spent almost 40 years working at WGN starting in 1978. But she remembers walking through the doors of Channel 9 like it was yesterday. I'd heard about WGN so many times. And even when I came here to the city, and I told people that I was coming to work at WGN. And they said, WGN, really? <laughs> and I said, yeah, really. So I knew right then that, this, that WGN really was huge in this community. And the nice thing about it was at one time, if you lived in Detroit or wherever you lived, you could, you could pick them up. You could get that. And my, my parents, of course, were happy that they could see their daughter on TV. She covered many historic events for WGN, like the visits of Pope John Paul II and Princess Diana, the Tylenol murders, and of course, Chicago's frigid weather. No relief is promised anytime soon. Muriel, Claire News 9. But she set herself apart in her courtroom reporting, including that of Rolando Cruz, the man arrested and convicted of killing 10-year-old Janine McCarrico. Testimony in this case is expected to get underway Friday morning. The very fact that here was a young man that I, I think never in any of my reports did I say he was a choir boy, but whether he killed a 10-year-old Naperville girl. Janine Nicarico, that was an issue. I, I, it's something about the story, the backstory, I think we call it now, that it just didn't, it didn't seem to ring. Uh, you know, it, it, it was something wrong with it. So I stayed with that story over and over again. And I got interviews and the day he got off of death row, I was there. And, and he was so very grateful because he felt that WGN um, had made it possible. Muriel was a pioneer in the field of social justice reporting, having been recognized by the Northwestern University Center on Wrongful Convictions. She's credited with helping to exonerate Lethario Boyd, who was convicted of murder and sentenced to 82 years in prison. We went out and we did some, some tracking of the area where it took place and we talked to a lot of people and we ran into a young woman who said, they've got the wrong person. And of course, my question was, how do you know? And she said, I was there. Well, what do you remember about the shooter? I think it was, it was shorter. He was only 5'9", five 5'10", five maybe. Um, not a very big man uh, in any way, shape, or form. And she said, and the man that they have locked up is not the man who did it. He did not kill anybody. And so we talked to her for a long time. We did interviews with her, and, uh, and it helped. Just as she had decided to call it a career, she got a call that ended up being the crowning moment of her journalistic career. When I came in on the day that I got the word, I had been out and someone on the desk, our assignment desk, had said, you need to, uh, uh, the president wants to talk to you. And I said, the president? Why would the president want to talk to me? Because I had just made up my mind to call it quits. And I thought, why would the president want to talk to me? And the person I was speaking with said, the president of the United States. <laughs> His staff members said, well, we don't care if she is retiring. He wants to talk to her. And so why don't you, why don't we push forward and see if she wants to do it? I'm Earl. Well, I certainly did. <laughs> That's one you don't say no to. No, absolutely not, no. It was great. I, that's the best I can tell you. It was, to, it was to be a part of history. After receiving numerous awards for excellence in journalism, including her dedication to reporting on young people with her For Kids Sake and the Teacher of the Month series, Muriel believes it's WGN's commitment to community that has allowed it to remain so popular over its 75-year history. It's made an impression, and it's been a good impression. I just think that um, what can I tell you, it's, it's, it's to me, it's been an exciting uh, career for me and I've enjoyed being connected.
And that's what she really emphasized when I talked to her. She said she really enjoyed interviewing people, talking to people, meeting people, finding out their stories, and then just sharing it with the audience. She said that was really what she enjoyed the most. And I will say, what I, one of the things I love about Muriel, too, is she never mixed words. Oh, no. You needed advice or, uh, you know, on a story, on life or anything. She mm -hmm. was there. She had an opinion, and she was giving it to you. Oh, yeah. If you asked for a lot. it. But she mm -hmm. doesn't, she wasn't somebody who came oh, forward. No, she wasn't no. pushy at all. Not at no. all. You know, you went to her. You got what you, yeah. what you asked for. Yeah, she's great. Yeah.